Hi everyone and welcome back. So today I finally am bringing you the haul to the antique show, um, shopping, toy hunting, vlog, whatever it is that I called it, I don't even remember. But um, this is the haul, the, the things that I bought there. I didn't spend too much money. That's a lie, I did because I did buy a big purchase that you will see at the end of this video. But that was a last minute purchase, so technically I kept it pretty low. But first up, I got this really old Disney Star bag. It's actually really kind of dirty. But um, I found lithograph sets. And the one I'm really excited about is this one, which is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. Um, these are the older ones that only came with the one lithograph. Um, I've got quite the lithograph collection. I've got some of them framed that I found like singly or ones that were already framed. And then I've got just all the collection of them. So this is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. And there's all these images in the back. So I don't know if it came like you had an option of getting like images. But I got this one with Pluto, Mickey, and Minnie. Or if this is just showing all the little short stories that was on the movie. But that one I'm really excited about because I actually like that one better than Twice Upon a Christmas. I didn't like the animation in Twice Upon a Christmas. But here we've got A Bug's Life. And here we've got the whole cast on here. And then here we've got The Jungle Book. And you've got Baloo and Mowgli. This is what this size says. Here we've got the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And these I paid a dollar each for. So a really good deal. Because you guys know I've spent more on these at like an antique store. So here's this one. And then the last one we've got Hercules here. And here is this image. So next up I found this Disney art of animation from Mickey Mouse to Hercules and I'm pretty sure that this has got like everything from when Mickey started to the movie Hercules coming out. Um, let me double check. A Mouse was born. It's got Snow White. Yeah, I don't know. It's just got a whole bunch of different stuff in here. And I got this for, I believe, $4 because it was labeled or um, priced at $5. And I haggled. I got another thing, too. Um, and I think I got a couple dollars off, like, the whole total purchase. So I would say that this one was uh, $4. And I don't know. I haven't even looked this up online or anything, so you guys are more than welcome to do it. But this, the price tag on it, if you guys can see that, $45. What? <laughs> um, yowza. <laughs> uh, that was kind of a lot, but it's got this holographic cover. And I'm probably going to be putting this up with my Mouseworks and Twin Books collection. And I don't know if I've shown you guys that before, but I'm pretty sure I have. And um, I'm going to be putting that up there. It's in really good condition uh, for $4. It's an awesome book. So in this one, I got this Minnie Mouse cup. And I don't think I have anything like this. I actually saw somebody selling its counterpart, um, Mickey Mouse, in Disney. Or in Disney? What? <laughs> in the antique show, but it was significantly more. They had this price at $3.95, which is kind of like a random price, $3.95. But I'm pretty sure, again, I got a dollar off. I think, yeah, so I think I asked if they'd take $7 for everything, and um, they accepted that. So this has just got the Minnie Mouse on here on the mug, and they do have a Mickey Mouse one. Um... But he would have, somebody who had this cup, the Mickey Mouse one, he would have, like, negotiated a price. But I don't know. I guess I just really wasn't into getting that one. I probably should have, so I had both of them. But 
I can always go back to that show and, um, you know, find it, see if anybody else sells it there. And then this was a really cute find. Um, this was in the shopping video. I don't think I had too many comments come back. I don't know how my views are doing on that one, but, um, this was so cute. He's kind of tangled. I have to untangle him. So here he is. He is so freaking cute. Um, I don't, I think I got him for like four or five dollars. This is what happens if I don't film things right away. I forget the prices. But really inexpensive and I've never seen anything like him and he's so cute. Like, you know, seriously, this is just, this is awesome. My sister would probably totally love this. Um, but never really seen anything like this and he's just the cutest thing ever. Like, I don't know where I'm going to hang him, but he's just, he's so freaking cool. Um, the reason I got him for like a little cheaper than what they were asking originally is because here on his leg, he's got a little chunk missing, but I didn't really mind that. I didn't really see it, but he did come down on the price a lot for this, so I was excited to find this. He had a whole bunch of Winnie the Pooh stuff. Like I said, it was in the, the shopping video. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'll leave that link in the description box below. But then these, I got all these for a dollar. Like, all the three of these were a dollar. Like, my total purchase was a dollar. <laughs> Trying to make sense. Or wait, no, no, no. I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied. I got these two for a dollar, so 50 cents each. So I found another one of the 100 Years of Magic, or is that what it was? 100 Years of Magic of the Disney figures, and I got um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, so... That's exciting. I don't have this one. I'm trying to collect all hundred of them, guys. It's going going real slow. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing it for days. And then I found this little Easter Taz. I thought he was really cute. It's a little keychain. So I picked him up too. And then this beast I got for a dollar. I don't know much about him, but he's gonna go in my Beauty Beast collection. He needs a little cleaning. Um, and I just noticed he's missing his tail. I didn't really notice that when I purchased them. So it's like, <laughs> that was kind of actually expensive for uh, something that's not even complete. But I've got a whole bunch of little things here. So I'm going to actually stand up and show you guys this. Um, for all this, I think I paid like three, three or four dollars. It wasn't that much at all. But I found this cute little spoon here. It just has a crown on it. He had it labeled for $2, but he didn't charge me that nearly that. So I got this little spoon with the crown on it. And then I also found this little kitty in his collection. She's a really cute little kitty figurine. So cute. I love kitties. They're like my favorite. <laughs> And then I found a whole bunch of pins. So here I've got this little rainbow um, with a unicorn on it. And then I got this, um, is it Bullwinkle? Yeah, I think, I think this one's Bullwinkle and Rocky is the squirrel. So I found that pin. And then I got this little carousel horse pin because if you guys don't already know, I really love carousel horses. Then here is another carousel horse. And then I got this little Santa Claus because I thought the Santa Claus was really cute. And then for the last one, I got this Martian pin. Um, just says buttermilk on it. I don't know much about this one. So yeah, those are the pins. Okay, and for the last thing, again, I'm not going to take these ones out because they're kind of falling apart and I need to glue them. So I'm going to try and just show you the bag the best that I can. Um, this one I didn't get for any anything. Like, it didn't cost me any money um, because of the item I'm going to be showing you guys last. It 
Um, I asked him, like, will you throw this in with this? And he's like, sure, I don't care. So he pretty much gave this to me for free with the purchase of what, um, the last thing was purchased. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So these are, um, little Chinese dolls. I don't know much about them. I don't know if they're Korean or Japanese or Chinese. But there's a little fan here, and there's these little dolls here, and then the bigger dolls here. I just thought they were really cute. There's actually a dryer sheet. I replaced the bag because the bag I had was dirty, so I put a new one in. And then I put a dryer sheet in here just in case there was any order to them or anything. So they're good for storage for now until I can get to them to unbag. I mean, who knows, maybe I'll do a thrift store unbagging of just this bag so you guys can get a closer look at this. But, yeah. This is what's in the bag. So now I'm going to take you guys into my living room to show you the big item that I purchased. Da -da -da -da! Here it is. This is the Dreamcast that we got at the antique show. This cost us $50, which it's not too bad of a price, um, saying that it came with a whole bunch of games. Um, and it also said that it only had two controllers, but it actually had three controllers in there. And then we've got two of the little memory stick things as well. Uh, one is currently in this controller and then there's one here. But yeah, we got tons and tons of games. I don't know what are rare or what are common or expense wise, but all of them looked water damaged and this wasn't working at first and we were kind of a little scared because we didn't know if it was the discs or if it was the system. Turns out the system just the um, little like disc reader thing was like kind of unconnected and it took like two seconds for the guys at our game store to fix it and we're all friends with people around in our local area with the game stores because they see us quite often so yeah um, the first game that we got is Air Force and Delta and all of these games came complete outside of like this one came from Blockbuster so it probably doesn't have it oh that one came came out and then we got this one. I don't know the title. I'm not going to try and read that, but it's one of the bigger, the two or three disc ones. This one I'm pretty excited about. We got House of the Dead 2. Back when, you know, GameStop sold Dreamcast games. We got this Mortal Kombat Gold. Here's Crazy Taxi 2. This one looks like a Best Buy um, sticker, old Best Buy sticker. We got this Sega Smash Pack Volume 1. Soul Calibur. Here's the first Crazy Taxi. Rainbow Six. And this NFL 2K1. I don't know anything about sports games. We're starting to get the sports games that are probably worth nothing. Um, this is Sega Tennis. NBA 2K1. World Series Baseball 2K1. And then the last game is this NCAA 2K2 College Football road to the Rose Bowl. So I know nothing about sports, but that is the Dreamcast and the Dreamcast games we got. So that is everything that I got in this antique show haul, um, craft show, antique show, um, what else do you call it? Flea market. It could be any of these things. Um, just secondhand items, little booths, people travel everywhere and sell these things. Um, I was pretty excited about the Dreamcast. Um, I'm glad that the crisis we had about it not working was averted. It was just a little small fix. Thanks to our local game store guy. Shout out to them. Thank you, sh game store guy, for just fixing it. <laughs> and he didn't charge us, so that was really nice of him. But, uh, yeah, if you guys ever want to see on my game channel any Dreamcast games, um, I can tell you Cuber is on my Christmas list now because... I had a, I had a Dreamcast once upon a time. Long story short, don't have it anymore, and um, 
I had Qbert on it, but I don't have Qbert anymore. So I want to find Qbert and get Qbert for it. So yeah. Um, let me know any of your comments in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to all of you. So um, I'm always looking forward to expanding my YouTube friends and the YouTube community because I love talking to you guys. It's just like the best thing ever. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. So yeah, um, I'm just glad when you guys are glad and you're excited and I can make you guys happy and smile and that's my ultimate goal in life is to make people smile. So yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys all soon in my next video. Bye everyone.